huge year for you. Yes, sir. A lot of movies, a lot of work. <clears throat> yeah. This movie has a lot of historical significance. I mean, for for the country to see this movie. So, how, what, what did you feel about when you got the script and you you found out you was gonna be a part of this? Man, I, I mean, I was just honored. It's it's a privilege to be a part of something like this. Cause you're right, we're not just telling a story uh, for casual entertainment. This is this is a, a story that means a lot to a lot of people, and um, I think everybody on on set had had the proper respect um, because we knew that that was the case. Right, right. And um, Daniel Day Lewis, I mean, I mean, he goes in. I mean, all of, the whole cast does. But how, what was it like to be next to this guy? And he's like Mr. President, and, mm -hmm. and just to see, you know, the what he brought to the to the character. I mean, he just he he really does it, man. I mean, my favorite my favorite actors are the ones who transform themselves. You know, you don't see the actor on the screen; you see the character that they're playing in the story. And uh, he does it unlike anybody else. When I was talking to him, I just had no problem believing that I was talking to Abraham Lincoln. Right, right. Now, the, the history lesson, I mean, people debate and everything about the, the implementation of the Emancipation Proclamation and everything else. And, of mm -hmm. course, Spielberg could explore all of those different arguments. Mm -hmm. But where do you think this movie stands as, as, next to history? I mean, do you, do you think it plays out pretty pretty close to, you know, how, how we imagine it went? Well, uh, look, I, I'm, I'm no history expert, um, but it does seem to me how things go. Uh, you know, he was doing his best to move things forward, and he couldn't do everything, and he was receiving opposition from all sides. You know, there were people who wanted to keep slavery intact. There were also people uh, who wanted to push things further, who wanted, you know, to, uh, were fighting for, like, black people having the right to vote or people of different races having the right to get married. And, you know, obviously we look back on those ideas now and we're like, clearly those are good ideas. Back then they were so controversial right, right. that Lincoln couldn't support them because he knew that if he supported those ideas, he would lose his support over here and he wouldn't be able to push forward his amendment. But he was able to ultimately make it happen and, and take an important step forward. That's not to say he changed everything. Right. And I think that's, that's, that's an important lesson for me. That's, that's what kind of jumped out to me is you, you never change everything all at once. You have to take steps. Right. And, um, it's it's yeah. some lessons learned for, for our current Congress maybe in this. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, it's, we've got hundreds of thousands of people dying mm -hmm. for this civil war and what was going on and the issues that it involved. And it seems like now, you know, even though these issues are important, we can't get through them. Do you think... Uh, Maybe this should be an assignment for Congress and Senate to watch this this picture and, and learn how to get through tough times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would hope so. But, I mean, and I, I think this movie, though, it, it just shows things have changed, but some things have stayed the same. I mean, and I, I really admire it for showing Lincoln to be not just a perfect angel, but somebody who had to do some shady stuff to get his cause forward. You know, right. I mean, it shows him sending lobbyists out to bribe people with jobs in his administration to get them to vote for this amendment to end slavery, you know. Right. So that's complicated because he's doing the wrong thing, but it's ultimately for the right thing. And I love that because it shows him as a human being right. instead of as, you know, as, as a, a deity. What I like about your character is that, I mean, in today's world, I mean, we have soldiers and everybody that's fighting for our country and we honor them. But you said a line where, you know, you didn't want to be the only one that didn't go fight for your country. And that's not really the common thing today for all Americans. We don't all go fight for our country. Right. I mean, how much pride should we have in all those people that laid their lives down and that put their lives in, in jeopardy yeah. back in the day as opposed to, to now? I mean, I'm not saying that there's not people that do, do it now, but... Yeah. Well, being a soldier back then was very different than being a soldier now because now people sign up uh, and it's their choice to join. Um, to some degree or another, of course, everybody's situation is different. Right. Uh, but back then, everybody, everybody fought. And, and Robert's situation, Robert Lincoln, who was the son of Abraham Lincoln, uh, he was kept out. His parents didn't want him to join the army. They had already lost two sons. Mm -hmm. And you can understand why parents wouldn't want to send their son off to a bloody war, but it is hypocritical for the commander-in-chief 
to ask other people to send their sons off to war, but keep his son out of action. Right. And, and Robert Lincoln railed against this and, and, and demanded of his parents that, that they let him, they let him join. Right. For more exclusive coverage of our latest news and entertainment, be sure to subscribe to our Black Tree TV channel, and don't forget to click on either arrow on either side to watch one of our most commented videos. When did you realize, hey, let me just do this, because this is nice? They said they were going to fire me. They literally called you into the principal's office like, Rob, yeah. no. It's crazy. 